Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. John here from Wild Boar Cycling. If you're like me at home, you don't have a team car following you around as you're out on your training rides. So carrying some essential tools and equipment to make repairs is essential. Uh, I've become really frustrated with some of my saddlebags because I'm tired of that Velcro stuff sticking to my expensive Lycra bibs. And you know what happens, folks, out there when that happens. It kind of ruins them. So uh, let's see what uh, Josh Portner sent me today from Soka. So here's a sample of what's up in my closet here out in the garage. I've got all kinds of different ones. Here's one here that has the Velcro on the side. And this one, I think you could probably put a small bus inside of it. It has a uh, clip on the back that you slide in and out on. And yeah, that works just fine. And also here's another one, um, it, but it's also the size of a small bus. And it's also got this Velcro stuff all around it, which is just a big snag on top of your expensive uh, Lycra shorts. So let's see how the Silka product is different and how the things I want to put in my saddlebag uh, are going to fit in there. I find it really interesting they put these uh, little packets of silica gel packets in here and they warn you not to eat them. Uh, I have never been, regardless of how hungry I've been at times, uh, felt the need to do that. So here it is. This is the Matoni pack. And it has this really cool BOA system on it. And if remember, if you're like me on the road, gosh, you know, sometimes just digging that Velcro up from around your saddle and from around your seat post can be um, a little bit um, challenging at times. Let's see if this is going to hold my gear. Looks like this is a really well-made piece of equipment. I'm going to pull that boa out and loosen it up. Oh, yeah. And it just slides right off of the container. Wow. Simple and slick. Let's see if it's going to hold everything that I hope to put in it. I'm going to open it up here with a zipper. Oh, yeah. Plenty of space inside. Space for your tools, for your air cartridges, and of course, the all-important extra tube. Well, let's look at what I tend to carry in my bag with me. And I got my two tire irons. I've got um, two CO2 cartridges. Here's my one extra tube, uh, a multi-tool kit, and this is the, the Bond Tracker release mechanism for. Uh, the rear wheel and my little silver thingy which attaches to your cartridges to pump up your tires. Let's see how the, all this lays in here. I'm going to go first with the biggest item which is my tube and it tucks in there really really well. Now let's see if my tire irons are going to fit. One on each side. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's snug. And now let's drop in my CO2 cartridges. And I gotta get my multi-tool in here. I'm gonna push this down a little bit. Seems like my uh, spare tire is taking up a little more space than um, I anticipated. Oh yeah, baby powder. I got both my tire irons in there. That's going pretty well so far. I gotta have my silver thingy here. That's what this is called, my little silver thingy. And also my tool to take off the tire. I think I can tuck that right in there. And it looks like I might not have room in here for my multi-tool. Let me zip this up and see how it goes.
Well, I'm a pretty minimalist when I'm out riding anyhow, but it looks like everything just sort of fits right in there. I like this little rubber band feature. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Amanda back here from behind me and put it uh, behind my saddle and see what that looks like. So yeah, it's a snug fit and I didn't get quite everything in there that I hoped to. Maybe I'll just drop this in my pocket if I really feel that I'm gonna need it out there for some type of emergency. All right, so I've got my saddlebag loaded, and what you're looking at here is the bottom of my seat post on my Amanda. This is the bike I intend to use this on. Um, this fits right over the top there like that. And I like the really how soft this and supple this uh, rubber is. And it's going to slide right over here. I'm going to take that uh, boa strap, put it right on there, and I'm going to seal it shut. Boom. I like how that fits right back in there. Um, perhaps uh, I really wanted a multi-tool in there too, but I think this is gonna work out just fine. Let me walk around the edge here and just show you how it fits back in here under my saddle. I think this is gonna be a, a really good addition to this bike. Looking forward to taking it out and trying it. Uh, I'm really especially like, liking not having Velcro straps hanging all over my seat post as I go down the road because that just tends to grab and I am not a fan of saggy saddlebags. Okay, you can see here how the, the BOA connector attaches to this really soft rubber strap that goes all the way around the saddlebag. Really easy to put on and secure. And uh, if I have to, I can reach back here and grab the, in the back, the zipper, if I don't feel like taking it off. But, you know, to pop this off now, instead of wrestling with all these Velcro straps, it's a pop, loosen. Remove that string. And that just drops off so easily. Yeah, a lot better than fishing around and having to work around with those um, Velcro straps that are just annoying me. Well, folks, there you have it. The Matoni pack from Silka. Great product. I'm loving how everything went together. And remember, the only thing I couldn't quite fit in there was my multi-tool. Uh, I'll probably just drop that into my pocket. So I uh, hope you found this helpful. A uh, really short one here today. If you did, make sure you hit the like and the notify and the subscribe button so you know when everything, when we have a new production come available. And in the meantime, oh, hey, and if you're up in the Sierra foothills uh, near Avery or Arnold, California, make sure you stop by these guys here. This is a Aloha mountain bike company. Uh, great folks, independent shop, plenty of product, got everything that you need to gonna keep you out there on the road with your mountain bike. So in the meantime, go out and ride, have fun, and of course, keep your upper side down. Bye, y'all.